China is using Uyghur labor to produce face masks in Xinjiang, China, aka East Turkestan. The New York Times has revealed that a number of Chinese companies are using forced Uyghur labor to pro produce personal protective equipment, or PPE, through a government-sponsored program that experts say often puts people at work against their will. The program sends ethnic minorities in China into factory and service jobs and is widely publicized in state media as a form of poverty reduction. Quotas on the number of workers put into the labor program and the penalties faced by those who refuse to cooperate means that participation is effectively involuntary. One factory in uh, Hubei province included 100 Uyghur workers sent uh, from Xinjiang who were required to learn Mandarin and pledge their loyalty to China in a weekly flag raising ceremony. All right. Uh, do you want to add some commentary on that, Susanna? So, I mean, there is a lot I can say about this. Um, first, we need to sanction more sanctions. I don't care. <laughs> um, Second, going into war with the nuclear power is not a good idea. That's not something I mean, I... That's not going to happen. I, I know it's not going to happen, but we have limited yeah. options, right? So what I was getting to That's is never that gonna one happen. of our limited options is that we have to shoot them in the knees economically, which means that we have to cut off all support for their enslaved and forced labor, right? This is one of those cases. Now, I'll, I will let you other guys comment, but then I'm going to get into brands that do use forced Uyghur labor. So you guys, because I'm boycotting, um, and I encourage everyone else to boycott, and I encourage you to do research into the supply chains of where a lot of your products are made. But comment first, and then I will provide further information. I was going to okay. say a lot of them are fashion brands, high-end fashion brands, by the way. I, okay, but I'm, don't boycott the brands that are using cheap labor. Only boycott the brands that are using forced labor, because a lot of times cheap labor are people that actually for for cheap labor people that are doing cheap labor for them is the difference between starving and not starving. Um, so these are specifically okay. using Uyghur forced labor. Okay, yeah, forced labor needs to be yeah cut out. All right, but I just want to read some of these comments on Facebook. Um, I don't know, Biron? Biron is saying, not my country, not my business. I'm assuming all the American companies treat their uh, laborers by American rules. Well, fuck you for only caring about Americans and nobody else. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Uh, and also, American companies don't if they're not in the United States. I don't States. care what American companies do. We're talking about Chinese people being abused, and that's what the focus yeah. should could be. These people are just want to bring everything back to America. Um, Tony is saying America uses prison labor as well. Uh, well, fuck you, Tony, for thinking the whole everything is about America and, and for your American-centric attitudes. You could go fuck yourself as well. Um, Ishmael is saying under atheism, what the fuck? Under atheism, ultimate justice is an un, is an unachievable goal. What does this got to do with what? Is this even no? Okay, this is guy is going on a. Uh, yeah, never mind that one. Anyways, uh, Rifka, uh, Rifka Shapan, do you guys want to ask something? Okay. I was I was just disgusted uh, disgusted at these people. Like, there's this like a genocide happening in China and these people just want to bring everything back to fucking America. Like, do, do you like care about like people getting like into like almost like the Nazi concentration camps uh, there in one part of the world, but you have to care about your own country all the goddamn time when you live in one of the most liberal places on earth. Rivka, do you have anything else to add? Well, no, I just wanted to echo that with that so many times people like to say, yeah, but America, yeah, but America. But I do think it is somewhat valid to talk about the United States because some of these companies are American companies using slave labor in China. So there is some validity to discussing that. Right. But I think um, I've also heard some people you know, denying that this is actually happening. I saw that discussion 
on Twitter, um, you know, saying that, you know, that it's not happening or that it's BS or that, you know, so it's just people that hate, you know, China, it's Sinophobia. And I think that, you know, people really need to look, I mean, there's a lot of drone footage, actual Chinese uh, documents. There's all kinds of evidence that this is going on, including people who have escaped from it. So I think it people should really be paying attention to this. It's absolutely a horrific thing that's happening. Uh, I, Susanna, before, before you mention any boycott, do we have actually any uh, data or proof that boycotting actually makes any difference in you know change of behavior from governments like China, like as big as China, or are we like South Africa, we, apartheid? Some of them did mm. work. It put okay. pressure on the government. There were a lot of big boycotts where companies were boycotted to divest from South Africa. And mm. some of that actually did work. See, this is this is why Rivka is so valuable here. I don't give her enough credit. She has always the small little nuance and information that makes it makes our episodes very special. Thank you, Rivka. Okay, but it's not that that was the only yeah. thing, but it did put a lot of international pressure on yeah. them in some ways. That... By the way, we need to have a discussion because the South African model that you're mentioning is a lot of a, a lot of people use it as a model for Israel. So, but that's another discussion that we could have later. It's not yeah. the same yeah. either. Yeah. I know. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't even open that can of worms right no, now. No, no, no. Um, okay. So last week we talked about how the U.S. is sanctioning several specific Chinese um, officials. Um, and alongside this report by the New York Times, which is possibly one of the only helpful things they've reported on recently, um, they also, it should be noted that the United States has also just put sanctions on 11 Chinese companies from buying American technology and other goods that they say are linked to human rights violators in Xinjiang or East Turkestan, um, including biotech firms and those that manufacture wigs and home appliances. Um, now, I think Armin brings up a good point. I do want to look into information about how effective boycotting is. Um, however, under the circumstances, our options are limited, and I'm going to do what it fucking takes to do what I can to stop a fucking genocide, okay? Oh, my God. So, <laughs> I'm like, let me calm it down. Um, so, there are a number of brands that are complicit in using Uyghur forced labor. Um, some of them are Tommy Hilfinger, The Gap, Zara, Fila, Polo, Ralph Lauren, Carter's, Skechers, Victoria's Secret, Adidas, H&M, North Face, Puma, Nike, especially Nike, and Calvin Klein, um, as well as Abercrombie & Fitch, Amazon, um, uh, Marks & Spencer, uh, Samsung, Uniqlo, Apple, eSpirit, and eSpirit. Don't take my word for it. Go do the research yourself. Um, it's very important to know where your supply chains are coming from. And um, I, this is a separate note. I've seen some people saying, basically complaining about why we're covering this so much. They're like, there are other human rights abuses going on. That's bullshit. One, we can talk about multiple human rights abuses. Two, this is one of the largest examples of human rights abuses that we are currently facing in the world. This is almost unprecedented. And if you have other human rights abuses that you want us to talk about, come send it to me. Come send it to me and we'll talk about it, okay? But there's no reason to say that we need to cover something less because there's other things that need to be covered. I'm going to continue. I've said it before. I'm on a jihad against genocide, okay? I'm going to continue. <laughs> Thank you, Rivka. I'm going to continue to cover this until I am blue in the face or until this ends, okay? This is non-negotiable. If you have other stuff you want me to talk about, send it to me. I'm happy to talk about it, but I'm not going to stop talking about this. Okay. Uh, anyone else have anything to contribute? I'm just going to say go. what I said last time. Never again. When we say never again, we have to make it fucking count. Okay? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very interesting because people have all these. Uh, I always mention they have these. Um, can I? I'm just gonna say the Holocaust museums. YouTube hates it when we use the big H as Rifko mentions, but people are like, oh yeah, let's remember, let's remember, never forget, and they forget what's the point of never forgetting. They're just like, we don't remember these things for the, just for the sake of remembering them. Um, okay, next news. Oh, I just want to mention doorknob head says Susanna changes color fast. You can tell when calming down is needed. Yes, yeah. unfortunately, I do turn red in the face very quickly. Um, someone else is saying they only killed Muslims. What about Falun Gong and Buddhists? It, we all need to acknowledge the many persecuted groups that are happening in China, right? They are, many are being systematically abused. I don't care what group they come from. This is a human rights issue, okay? And I'm going to raise awareness about it as I see fit. Again, send me news if you want me to cover something else god damn okay <sighs> so okay i think i think we wait wait i think we lost your pump to a, is your pump to a power outage like but yeah we lost your pump uh oh he's back is he back i don't know possibly okay wait so, hold on i, I want to make sure Shopam doesn't cut in in the middle of the news Shopam, are you with us he's in the dark look at him yeah can you hear me yeah, okay, good. Okay, so me news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 